Hello, my name is Dale Tompkins, president of Code 3. What you're about to see is a transformational shift in the job of law enforcement enabled through Google Glass. At the end of this video, I'll show you the V-Linked app, the product roadmap, and other verticals that turn this product into a business. I will also show you venture capital investment opportunities as well as exit options and return on investment. Now, just imagine. Hey you, come here. Okay, glass, smart GPS. Show helicopter cam. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Okay, Glass, fetch vehicle. Okay, Glass, take picture, license plate. Run telematics. Okay, Glass, turn on level three. Call EMS. Okay, Glass, take picture. Run license plate recognition. Okay, Glass, secure vehicle. Call backup. Okay, Glass, start video. Show interview procedures. Okay, Glass, turn off front cuts. Okay, Glass, record video. Okay, Glass, scroll Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney and have your attorney present with you while you're being questioned. If you want an attorney and cannot afford one, one will be appointed for you before any questioning. Do you understand each of these rights as I explain them to you? Yes. Capabilities you just saw are imagined, and now they must be built. How they'll be built follows. The way to start up any new business is with an app that's already working, making a dent into the world. That's happening today through Code 3's latest innovation called V-Link Remote Vehicle Connectivity. V-Link is both new to law enforcement and to the world. The V-Link system is comprised of three elements. The V-Link controller, your vehicle, and the V-Link app. V-Link gives the officer complete wireless control of his or her vehicle from up to 300 feet away. As such, V-Link is dramatically increasing officer safety and mission effectiveness. V-Link enables any officer to remotely control the vehicle's lighting, siren, in-car video, 
and other security functions, including the trunk release, door release, canine release, and the gun release. Launched in June 2013, V-Link is winning multiple innovation awards and is growing. The next generation of V-Link will be voice-activated commands through Google Glass. Today, dozens of vehicle controls are activated manually through a smart device. In the future, they will be done verbally through Google Glass. In short, Google Glass enables disruption in law enforcement. Other vertical segments will be presented later. Now the product roadmap. The Google Glass enabled roadmap will be built specifically against three mega categories as shown in the diagram here. First, controlling the vehicle remotely. Second, identifying persons of interest and vehicles of interest. And third, conducting standard police scenarios. As illustrated in the diagram, specific police scenarios in the center are ringed by their corresponding Google Glass enabled mirrored APIs that direct action and capabilities. For example, controlling a vehicle remotely will involve building Google Mirror APIs for Google Glass that fetch the vehicle, secure the vehicle, control the lights, sirens, and other vehicle functions, control the in-car video, and conduct telematics and fleet management. Identifying persons and vehicles of interest will involve building Google Mirror APIs that conduct license plate recognition, facial reference, facial recognition, and thermal imaging. And conducting standard police scenarios will involve building Google Mirror APIs that enable aerial surveillance for active shooter and stakeout situations, evidence collection, and police procedure reference. This product roadmap, once built, will be transformational. From the officer operating around the world to the world revolving around the officer. Five years from now, it will be as if the world's law enforcement professionals have been operating blind today. A complete paradigm shift. There are three options for customers to purchase Google Glass. Each relate to three revenue models, standalone, free, and bundled. The standalone revenue model is the separate purchase of these capabilities on a monthly subscription basis. For illustration purposes only, for $10 a month, the officer will be able to control the vehicle remotely in all ways previously described. For $20 a month, the officer will be able to identify persons of interest and vehicles of interest as described previously. And for $5 a month, the officer will be able to conduct all standard police scenarios previously described. Second revenue model is an advertising-based model where all these Google Glass capabilities are free as the officer or agency allows ads to be pushed to them. They would have the choice to opt in or opt out of the advertising. If they opt out of the advertising program, then the monthly fees as previously described would apply. The third revenue model is a bundled capability approach. These bundles involve more than just Google Glass enabled capabilities. They include capabilities that when combined yield proven return on investments of three to one. Here are just a few examples for illustration purposes. First example, Google Glass plus a light bar, siren and speaker for a vehicle an officer would cost $75 per month on a subscription or leased basis. The second example involves adding to the first bundle two other products, an in-car video and an automatic license plate recognition system. This bundle would cost about $200 per month, but it would also generate revenue for the department of about $600 per month, principally driven from the ALPR revenue. The third example involves adding to the second bundle the telematics and fleet management capability. This bundle would cost about $500 per month, but it would also generate revenue for the department of about $1,500 per month, principally from the cost savings from fleet management. The financial game changer is that these examples yield a real world proven three to one return on investment model. Google Glass will disrupt the law enforcement community as it positively impacts all 10 dimensions of innovation. 
Dramatic growth in mind share, revenue, and value will occur. As shown against the product roadmap, a company called PSE, or Public Safety Equipment, today actively sells and has the largest global share of these capabilities on a collective basis. However, these capabilities are not Google Glass enabled yet. As such, PSE is uniquely positioned to deliver this product roadmap. And with the right venture capital partner, that is the right Silicon Valley network, this vision can become reality quickly. PSE's divisions provide most of the key equipment on an officer's vehicle today. And our equipment goes on many vehicle types across the world. And our operations and distribution are global to over 60 countries. However, the law enforcement vertical is only a start, a small start. It's one of dozens of other vertical segments that await Google Glass. Leveraging the platform products that we built for law enforcement, commercial opportunities exist within each sphere of the Venn diagram, with increasingly richer opportunities in the overlapping elements. In person, I will show a much richer and more robust description of the other vertical segment opportunities. For example, one million U.S. firefighters and five million global firefighters await for their vertical to be penetrated with a new paradigm of firefighting to begin through Google Glass. Other vertical segments are shown here as well. This new business will be located in Silicon Valley with access to the Google Mirror API software developers, the automotive companies, and the network. Project Elon Musk, as we call it internally, seeks venture capital participants for access to both capital and the software development network. PSE would be a minority investor, enabling the venture capital parties to control the direction of the business while leveraging the existing channels that PSE already provides. This is a win-win. Exit options are threefold. Go public, private equity roll-up, or a venture with a third party. Financial returns are projected to be 300% to 1,000% per year with most revenue on a recurring monthly basis. A broader and more in-depth discussion on these topics is available on a private basis. Thank you for your time. For more details, contact information is available here.